afternoon everyone, I'm Riker and I'm Bridget and we're here for Nobby News. It's hard to believe that we have passed the halfway mark of term 3 already. It really is Riker and the remainder of the term is jam packed so I imagine it will fly by as well. One of our upcoming events is our Scholastic Book Fair. Here's Rachel to tell us about it. Thanks Riker. The Scholastic Book Fair is like having an exciting bookstore come to our school. Each student is given time to visit and explore the books on offer prior to the fair officially opening. To purchase from the book fair, come along or simply go online to place your order and make payment. Then return the student's wish list form with the titles listed and your child will bring them home to enjoy. This year the Scholastic Book Fair will be held from Thursday the 24th of August until Tuesday the 29th of August. The fair will be open each morning from 8.15am to 8.45am and will end each afternoon from 3pm to 3.15pm if POS facilities will be available. This is Rachel for Nobby News. Back to the studio. Thanks Rachel. It is important also to note that the school receives commission for all the book sales which we often use to purchase new books for the library. In fact, most years we receive around $400 worth of new books which is great for our library. This year we will be holding a book week dress up parade to coincide with our book fair. This will be held from 9am on Wednesday the 30th of August. The whole school recently attended the Take a Look Captain Cook exhibition at the Cobb Co Museum in Toowoomba. It was a wonderful day and we were able to learn about Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders culture. We asked the students what their highlight of the excursion was. I liked going to the place where we got to go in the tent. What was in the tent? A big projector. And what was on there? A snake and some footprints. My favourite thing about the Cobb Co excursion was when we got to have pizza. Um, probably um, when we got to go in the building that um, was full of lights and all that. Um, the lights, like, they, it was like a movie, they flicked on and off. And they were all different colours. And there were snakes and there was, um, like, Australian pictures of footprints. It was when we like looked at all the stuff. What stuff, honey? Like when we like went. Well, when we when we I actually just liked all of it. My favorite thing about the Common Gun Museum was seeing all the dances and. Um, seeing and going into the tent. What was in the tent? Um, they were singing um, footprints and um, stars and um, star shapes. My favourite thing about the Cobb Co Museum was when we got to choose five people from each school to go up and dance with the um, Torres Strait Islander people and learn some dances about the emu. It was when we, um, when the guy said, when I said the wrong answer and then he said, oh, say this word and say that word and. Uh, probably the pizza and throwing the boomerangs. We got to eat pizza. 
My favourite thing at the Cobb & Co was learning about how they like make the neck necklaces and like all the objects and like what they use, like all the grass. And in the bushes they have like string and that's how they use it to make the necklaces to stay, keep them together. Um, when we had garlic bread and pizza for lunch. When we saw the horses and carriages. I liked everything. Uh, the favourite part was, was when we went to see all the olden days, back in the day where they were using horses and trailers, not cars and trucks and tractors. My favourite thing is that we could get to throw weapons and that. And we also got to see old carriages and learned how they got eels and that. Horses and the carriages. It was a great day with some very interesting exhibits and demonstrations. Mrs. Fort also received some positive feedback from the staff of Cobb and Co about how respectful and well engaged the Nobby students were. That's good to hear. Nice work, Nobby kids. Now let's head to Abbey to see what the weekend weather is doing. Thanks Bridget. Saturday will be sunny with a low of 2 and a high of 17. Sunday will also be sunny with a low of minus 1 and a high of 21. I'm Abby with the weather. Back to you in the studio. Thanks Abby. Now let's have a look at what's happening next week. On Monday we have parade at 8.45am, dance with Chappie Sam at Big Lunch and our Year 6 students will visit the Clifton State High School for a transition morning. Tuesday morning we have breakfast club and sporting schools from 3.30pm until 4.30pm. Wednesday morning we have breakfast club, play group from 8.45am till 10am and religious instructions during the afternoon session. Thursday morning we have breakfast club and the Scholastic Book Fair will be open from 8.30am until 8.45am in the morning and from 3pm until 3.15pm in the afternoon. And Friday we have breakfast club, tuck shop, PE, library, dance with Chappy Sam at Big Lunch and the Scholastic Book Fair will be open from 8.30 a.m. till 8.45 a.m. in the morning and from 3 p.m. until 3.15 p.m. in the afternoon. And that's our look ahead at week seven. I'm Bridget. And I'm Riker. And, and this, this is, is Nobby, Nobby News. News.